I'm Jennifer Angel. Hi Capricorn. I'm back on the videos. Thanks so much for being patient. I did have a couple of weeks off over the holidays and uh, well not really because I developed a new website from scratch by myself. <laughs> I'm not a web developer but anyway I do hope you like it. It's uh, you know it's quite clean. I do have all the horoscopes on there um, for you and uh, the navigation is easy and it's a lot faster. So <clears throat> solved a lot of those technical issues so here's the here's the site address jenniferangel.com um, I hope you enjoy it I hope you you like it and of course there's there's more to come a website is always a work in progress <laughs> I hope you like my background this week as well I have actually been to Vin to um uh, to the pyramids in Egypt. It was a fabulous experience some time ago now, but I'll, I'll always remember it, that's for sure. All right, so in your sign or in our sign, because I'm Capricorn 2, if you've only just started uh, watching me, and uh, we've got Mercury back in Capricorn and out of its retrograde, out of its destructive storm apart. So the sun is still in our sign right through the end of this week. So this is a great, and Pluto of course is, is there for a while. So this is a great time to really get communications going, start talking to people about business matters, also like family and your home um, area is very much in the, um, you know, in your chart at the moment. Uh, and so there's a lot sort of happening and a lot of progress, a lot of excitement. And particularly as we've got, you know, Pluto in Capricorn in a sextile with Venus, Venus being the planet of love and money. Okay. So, and this is in our area of communication. So there's like the possibility or probability of connecting with people, um, this is a creative area as well. Mars is there, so it's not just as well. Mars, so it's not just about connecting with people, but it's connecting with people and discussions can go ahead, okay? So um, it's very proactive. Mars is like the trigger that pushes things ahead. So it's very positive. Now the sun is going to move in to our solar second house at the end of this week. Um, this is our monetary area. And let's not forget that Venus is not only the planet of love, it's also the planet of money. So, you know, with Venus and Pluto together, it's like an amazing... Um, a, you know connection and at the same time there's a connection a opportunity another sextile between Mercury and Neptune this is also fabulous because Mercury being in Capricorn Neptune in that creative communication area so it really does indicate if you've got a creative project going on then it can it can go together pick up momentum have positive discussions and quite quickly you can be talking about money okay so in another week so um, and what you're doing now is you want to set things that are going to provide stability for the future and that's very important and in the sign just before uh, yours we've got your uh, um, Capricorn ruling planet, the Saturn. Now Saturn is in a square this week with Mars. Okay, so that is a little challenging. So you want to be careful that you don't um, start controlling. <laughs> a Capricorn to start controlling everything? Never. <laughs> she says laughing. Um, so, but if there's an old situation that comes up, then you want to be careful that that doesn't sort of take over. Um, you want to watch that. Don't go down the same path. At the same time with the sun moving into that solar second house in another week, you want to feel worthy of what's um, being what's presented to you or what's coming up for you in opportunity. So, you know, on one sense, you want to feel worthy of it. On the other sense, you don't want to get too pushy or controlling. So, you know, remember, as I said to uh, another sign, 
uh, earlier today, there's a difference between assertiveness and aggression. So it's okay to be assertive, okay, all right? Um, and, you know, with that Neptune there too, it sort of softens things off a little bit too. So that's that's nice. So this is a great time for Capricorn. I really do feel, in fact, I think it's a great year. Uh, and uh, with so much going on, I have not got the 2017 up, but that uh, is on my schedule for next week. All right, so go along and have a look at my site. Here's the address again, jenniferangel.com. I, I hope you like it and find it easy to get around. And uh, thanks so much for your support. And I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye for now. Love and love to you.